Uh, welcome back to the Hull View. It's the business end of the season. The championship is back and now Hull are just eight wins away from landing themselves in the magical playoffs. And we all know what happens when Hull City are in the playoffs. They usually go up. How are you, Will? Excited? Oh, yes. Very excited. Been <laughs> been a good running, I think. Good running. So this week sees the visit of Stoke City. Um, we're going to preview that game in a second with our uh, Stoke City fan, Liam. Good evening, Liam. Evening. How are you? Okay. I had a free weekend without watching Stoke this weekend, so yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, we're going to look back at that Leicester game, and we're also going to talk about club versus country as well. Would Will sooner see Hull promoted or England win the Euros? So let's get right into it straight away. First of all, Will, that was some game uh, against Leicester. Do you feel a little bit hard done by it all? Um. <laughs> A little bit, yes, but I think both penalties from for us and for them were soft, but probably givable, I'd say. And I think a few of my friends when we were leaving, we said, well, Jamie Vardy did come and have a bit of a party at the MKM. So that kind of went around a bit. And he did manage to wind up a few fans, and we gave it back to him, so it made it even better. But I think we did take it to Leicester a fair bit. We should have won it probably at least, uh, should have got a goal late on or at least later on in the second half should have been at least 3-1 up not just 2-1 so it'll be interesting do we talk about Cavalier's penalty um what what, what's, what was your, what's your view of it um well he, I, I think a few of those rounders were saying that we don't know who our out and out penalty taker would have been that day like we'd normally it's straight giving it to two fan and that's it or potentially give it Philogene but he had it straight in his hand I was like okay go make a name for yourself Obviously he did. And then, okay, give him his due. He went up and scored the second. Another second over the set, got the second chance and got a goal. So fair enough. But for them penalties, you've got to get be clinical at it. They just kind of sums up our day really on that one. Um, did you think Leicester's was a was a penalty? It was like I said, it was a soft one, a very soft one, but they're given all the time. And to be fair, Everything was not really going against us, but nothing was really going for us either. So it was going to be one of them 50 50 ones that's depending on the referee's mood at the time, I guess. Okay. Um, all right, then. Let's just talk about um, I just want to talk about financial fair play with you a little bit because um, Hull have been lauded for having excellent January signings, but also people have questioned whether uh, Hull themselves will be. Um, Financially in trouble in the future, given all the given all the spending. What do you know about um, how astute the owners have been with the with the business that you've that you've done this year? And do you have any kind of the same concerns? Um, because we've I've seen a few tweets this week with Leicester being done that some people have replied going, "Don't worry, whole city will be next." Um, do, do you yeah. subscribe to that view? Not not really, no. Because the, what they're doing is they're looking at the signings that we've got. And they're thinking we don't have anything coming back in, but we've had enough outgoings. We've got enough of our loan players coming back at the end of the season. The loan players going back home that we probably won't sign off on um, on full contracts. And then you've got the potential of at least, well, I say at least. Unfortunately, three of our good good players are going to be going at the end of at the end of the season anyway. I think there's like a fifteen to twenty million price tag being touted for Greaves at the moment. And then I think I saw. I think it was Tottenham, Everton, and one other are going after Philogene for a 35 plus. So let's see if them ones come about. <laughs> no way. There's no way we're landing them anyway. Um, <laughs> right. What did you make of. Uh, let's go on to the talk about the Stoke game then. What did you make of, uh, of Stoke City in the reverse fixture, uh, which was back in uh, back in late September? Um, you uh, turned up and, and beat them 3 1. Well, to be fair, I I enjoy the Stoke game. I don't know why. It's just and it, I've always liked like a nice. They're they're a good side to play against. No offense, to Stoke. It just we turned up at the right time. We were on not on fire, but we we're doing really well. We were on on point for ourselves, and I think as long as we still keep to that way of thinking, we'll be the same again at home. But again, a lot of fans are saying that our home form is dipping a lot. Like we're getting a lot of good results away, but we need to bring it back home. Mm. I think today I read that we're fully sold out for the MKM to on uh, on Saturday, uh, sorry Friday. So that'll be a really good um, good atmosphere for the game. So hopefully the players will bring their A game and we'll win. Mm. 
Yeah. Do you think they'll keep anything back from Monday's game? Because obviously that is a that is a huge. Oh, the one against Leeds, I know. That's gonna. Be... It's a late kickoff. I think it's like a. It's on Sky as well. I think it's as an eight o'clock kickoff at uh, Ellen Road. Um, I think he'll go all out for the first half to try and kill the game off. Like, look at it being like two nil, if not at least one nil, and holding a good defence into the first half. Going into the second, you'd look at kill the game off, get two to three nil, and then go defensive. That's what I think. And then you take your big guns off and just go put on all your defensive players to just hold it. Because okay. we will need a lot of attacking force to get through Leeds. If not, we're just going to have to park the bus and hope for a 1-0 win at Leeds. Uh, Liam, tell the uh, Hull fans, if you wouldn't mind, what sort of shape Stoke City are in. You were going well until Norwich dropped up into town. Yeah, um, we've got a bit of a hoodoo at home. Like uh, Will said, they come at the right time when they beat us at home, but coming to Stoke and getting three points is not a big thing these days <laughs> If you you should be more worried if you come to Stoke and don't get three points because our own form is pretty much abysmal a uh, bit of a different team away we're a lot uh, grittier we set up at the minute for a point more or less um, the only away game recently we didn't really set up to defend the game was Leeds where we we absolutely battered them in the second half we lost 1-0 but it's probably the most attacking we've been so um, I wouldn't fully write us off. It just depends, really, with Stoke at the minute. Schumacher seems to be getting bits and bobs wrong again, like we've reverted back a little bit. So we'll just see how we go. Okay. All right, shall we get some score predictions from you both then? Um, Will, you can head this one first. Another 3-1? Probably, yeah. It will, it'll be a 3-1 win, I think, for us. Okay. If we're as long as we set up right, attack in the first half, finish it off early second, then defend it, it'll be, I'd say, a 3-1. Okay. Um, 3-1 Liam <laughs> um, I'm going to go 1-1 just just purely for the fact that we've got to keep trying to pick up points <laughs> we've got to well, try like and keep you, them rolling to be fair, like you said Liam you've got a good away form we're not doing really, really good at home I didn't so say, not, I, I didn't say good I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> I didn't say it was good away one. it's better than our own form that's it Yeah, I'm still going for the 3-1 for us though I need to keep keep the faith in us all uh, just before you go, Will, um, I want to ask you about club versus country. Um, where do you stand on this debate then as a, as a Hull fan? Because, you know, you have seen Hull in the Premier League, so it's not like some other fans who, who you know, would, would kill to have their team back in the Premier League. Would you would you sooner have Hull promoted or would you rather see England win the Euros? Um, I think in the form we're in and all the fan, all the players that are, that are looking to um, possibly leave at the end of the season, I would probably say I'd go England win the Euros. But that's me saying it very tentatively as a Scotland fan. So, you know, it's kind of a bit of a hard one saying that. However, going on the England side of things, you look at the under-21s where we had Philly Jean and um, Tyler Morton play, both scoring and assisting. So, absolutely fantastic. So, bringing them back for us would be great. So, hopefully they'll be fighting for them again. But yeah, England to win it, I think, over City in promotion, I think. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for both of you for joining us. Good luck to you both, and we'll catch you both next week. If you're a whole city fan, haven't yet subscribed, please do so and hit that like button because it massively helps. We'll get through the next eight weeks of nerve jangling footballing, <laughs> sitting and talking, reviewing on this channel. Thank you very much everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time on the whole view. <laughs>